What were the so-called air shafts of the Great Pyramid used for? And further decoding of the Ganton Brink glyphs. Hi, if you haven't watched my previous videos on decoding the uh, hieroglyphs behind Ganton Brink's door, please do so. Uh, upon making the next video about the real purpose of what the so-called air shafts within the Great Pyramid are, I came across some more very strong evidence of what the glyphs mean, which ties in with the purpose of the air shafts as well. Now, we had Ak to enter in, the horned viper entering the container. Uh, then we have Teb, I think is the pronunciation, which is um, the focus of the new evidence um, as to the true purpose of the air shafts. There are several meanings for Teb. One, to provide with, two, to decorate and adorn, but there is also its literal idiomatic meaning, um, what it represents, a reed float. Why is that important? Because the purpose of the shafts, I propose, is they allow the cosmic waters of the great winding waterway of the sky to enter into the king's chamber from the south and exit to the north as the Nile flows which annu annually uh, rejuvenates the land. So it comes into the king's chamber, making an island of Khufu's sarcophagus, recreating the primal mound, allowing the king uh, to be revivified every morning. The great winding waterway is actually the expanse of the night sky that runs from south to north over which the deceased cross east to west on their journey to Ray. Now please listen to these passages from the pyramid text because there's ample evidence of this. Um, for example, uh, verse 337, quote, The reed floats of the sky are set in place for me, that I may cross on them to the horizon to Ray. End of quote. This explanation of the purpose of the shaft is presented also in a paper by the author Anthony P. Sakovich, published by the American Research Center in Egypt. Uh, I'll put a link in the description because it's got more information on that. Uh, I think it is the one theory that is most likely, especially given um, the translations I've made and presented in these videos. The hieroglyphs were made to identify the stones, probably, its position, no doubt, but in doing so, also identified the purpose of the shaft. I predict the markings behind the northern door will be similar, but will be to exit out the reed floats, rather than allow in, enter in. Okay, thanks for watching. There will be more to come. Please like and subscribe to support my research. Uh, thanks very much. Bye-bye.